you're curious um, kind of why I turned the stream on, I'm just going to play a game and chill. I think I talked a little bit about you know, a few weeks ago as we went into 2023 that I want to do much more stuff like this where we're just chilling. Doesn't need to be anything crazy going on. Doesn't need to be anything elaborate. I'm just going to play Plants vs. Zombies and hang out. I think there are a lot of people over the last year or two that have been like, you know, I really miss when he just fucking relaxed and played Plants vs. Zombies. I feel like a lot of people have, have had that opinion. And I, I joined your opinion. I think I, I kind of missed being able just to chill and hang out and just do whatever. So they're coming back. I promise there won't be any McDonald's rants tonight. Well, I can't promise that, but you know. Also too, there's not gonna be a cam tonight. I'm gonna try some, go back to kind of the way, if you don't know, Back before 2020, 2021, 2020, I never did face cam. It was something that was very rare. So we're going to be doing less face cam, but no, it's not going away. Let me be really upfront. People be like, wait a minute. Why is he taking the face cam off permanently? No, it's just when I feel like hanging out and chilling, it's not going to be on. That's right. I get to be naked again. It's awesome. You know how long, don't, I'm not going to rant about anything. This is a chill stream. Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is going to it's going to be funny because so the first like six Breath of the Wild streams, there was a lot going on. It's like the second part of the Breath of the Wild series is going to be so much more like chilled out and kind of turned down a lot, right? You're going to get to the second half and be like, wow, he must have really, what the fuck happened to him? Fuck, this looks old. <laughs> well, that's because it is old. It is very old. Use plenty of sunflowers. I used to be pretty damn good at this game. I don't think I ever beat it. How long is the campaign? You could probably finish it in one sitting. 30 hours. I don't think one sitting. That's a long time. That sounds like a while. Remember, this is pre-recorded. <laughs> it. You might think that. It says probably feel that way. It's an AI generated stream. I'm just testing the waters to see if you notice. <laughs> it's an AI generated stream. I'm just testing the waters to see if you notice. <laughs> It's an AI generated stream. I'm just testing the waters to see if you notice. Oh, that's right. Somebody said this too. The last time I played this game, it was I couldn't beat the tutorial during the Halloween special from a few years ago. That's right. It's just there was no attention there at all. Zero. Be sure you're done creating your Zombatar. If you wish to make any changes, you'll need to start over. So what? What? Your Zombatar has been saved to your desktop. Why did it do that? That's weird. That's weird. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't really don't like that. Make that your Twitch avatar. <laughs> I can't lose the tutorial. I mean, I'm, there's no way, right? How did I lose the tutorial? No, I'm like actually genuinely asking, how did I lose the tutorial? Did I actually lose on this level? I, I, I cannot believe that. It seems impossible. You lost to one lane. I... How? You can't. This, ah, this, I forget how cool this game was. I forget how awesome this game was, and I forget just how much I was so sad when the second one came out. Play the YouTube video of you ranting about the in-game currency. The one thing that I remember about Plants vs. Zombies 2 was that. It was the fact that some levels, it was just like, oh, yeah, it, there's like electricity lightning moves. You just put your finger over it, and you just, just destroy every single enemy on the screen. And it was, it cost money to do it. Hey, when is the bit gonna end? Oh, shit, yeah, you probably, the, uh, a screamer is gonna show up in about... One to two minutes, I think. I have it programmed so that like a screamer just goes right in the middle of the screen. <laughs> How pissed would some of you be if that happened and the stream turned off? I feel like a lot of people would be really mad at me. All I remember about this is at every convention, there were those cones were on everybody's head. If you went to a gaming convention between like 2000, like 11 to like 2014, it was like, that was, that was like a fashion statement wearing one of these cones. If German doesn't respond to this, then it's pre-recorded. Well, how do you know that I didn't make sure I specifically addressed comments like yours in the pre-recorded video? Would I rather eat a burger or a pizza? I think that's an impossible question because there are some days where you really feel like a pizza and there's some days where you really don't feel like a pizza. If I had to delete pizza or delete burgers from Earth, it, they were just gone. They would just stand out, snap out. I don't know. I probably, oh, that's hard. Pizza is better, pizza is better than burgers. I would probably say pizza probably is better than, than burgers in most cases. But if I feel like a burger, like if I really feel like a burger, I don't think 
it can match like the taste of a burger. Pizza is very versatile. Burgers are versatile too, but I feel like there's a lot you can do with a pizza. If you delete burgers, the yes won't exist anymore. I think they could, they could eat pizza. They would be happy with that. Oh, hold on a minute. Am I deleting like beef? Or just like the how you make a burger, like the bun, the cheese, the patty. Am I deleting beef? Because I don't. I would not do that. I don't think I would do that. No, just burgers. I think I could live with that though. Oh, <gasps> there he is. Crazy Dave. Do an impression. Okay. Webby wobble. Webby wobble. I'm not doing that one. I'm not doing that one either, but here you go. This is a chill stream. This is supposed to be weird voices. Hey, I did, that's not what I said. I have a really important question though. What actually happened to PopCap? Are they still doing anything? I mean, uh, Peggle 2 was last... God, that had to have been at least five plus years ago, wasn't it? Oh, the Garden Warfare games. That's right. You know, I actually heard those games were pretty fun. Oh. That's such a look at how big that is. You can tell the resolution is really small just because of how huge that was. That was gigantic. I was actually uh so Stir's playing Neo 2 right now, and I, I just was catching a little bit of it, and I was uh I was laughing because somebody in his chat said uh what was it? It was like Dude, you're gonna do so good. You're gonna it was like a little paragraph. It was just, Oh, hey, man, don't worry. You're going to learn this game and you're going to make it rain on these enemies and do it like a boss. It was I just loved it. It was so funny. <laughs> it was like it was like one of my favorite comments. Dude, you're going to make it rain like a boss. It was like all the little taglines from that stream, like in one comment. It was I loved it. What are my thoughts on Greek yogurt? It's good. I will say I don't like plain Greek yogurt unless it's put in a smoothie or something, but it's good. I like vanilla Greek yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is. Just, I have to read this. <laughs> Nobody goes. What are your thoughts on Greek politics? Ah, uh, let, yeah. Let's let's transition to that. Let's let's talk about that now. <laughs> hey, dude. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Greek yogurt? Hey, what about Paul? What about Greek politics? <laughs> what are your thoughts on wireless toilets? Like you flush the toilet with your phone? <laughs> What an extra step that doesn't need to be there. Oh, I got a flush. Hold on, let me open up the app and then go to like, wait for it to load and then touch flush on the app. I don't know, sometimes I, like with the way that like tech is going, why do I feel like that that's something that would happen? Well, you don't understand. It, you see, it's on your phone. The Wi-Fi is out, I can't flush my toilet. What? Oh, his pants, his pants come down? Oh, right, his, no, oh, I thought his, no, he drops his new, I thought his pants came down. I was like, oh, he's like, oh, my pants! And then I saw the underwear. Bro, you must be high as fuck. No, I'm fine. Somebody just said, I think he's watching a long play and commentating. <laughs> I'm just sitting there watching a gameplay. I got my arms behind my back, like behind my head. Just sitting here. Ah. When's your next physical? I actually probably really should get one. Not to get too, um, maybe depressing or real or whatever. But I kind of hit a point. A year or two ago, with all the medical shit, uh, I kind of just was like, "Fuck, whatever." And I just, not that I stopped going. I had so many back in like 20, I want to say 20, like 18, 2019. I had probably, oh, I don't even know how many. I was like scanned a fucking hundred times. Like almost every single part of my body was checked. And in my brain, it's almost like, you know what? I spent so much time with the doctor in like 2018 through 2020 that they scanned everything. Um, so that would be, I think I'm all right for a little while. But it's always a good idea. What time is it in ancient Greece? Well, you're asking what time is it in Greece right now? And I don't think I'd even answer that if I tried. Would I even answer that? Let's see. Greece is some specific time. What is... Like, London is, what, eight hours ahead? Ten hours ahead right now? No, what time is it in ancient Greece? <laughs> what does that even mean? What does that mean? Is in ancient Greece Greece? Wouldn't it be? The, what do you... It would be the same time. It, why, why would the time change? It's not like time... Was ancient Greece on a, like, four-hour clock? What are you talking about? Who's your favorite ancient Greek philosopher? Oh, that's easy. Any of the ones that have their arm up and they're wearing like a big, you know, they're wearing uh, like a like a toga. 
and their arm is up, and it looks like they're like almost singing, like as they're talking. Who is that? Like they have the big elaborate arm is up. They're like, oh, no. like this, like the big elaborate arm up in the air. Like they're like presenting something. Who is that? All of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll just start with this. I get, I'm, I'm a click master. No one's getting by. He's been hardened by years of iPad gaming. This kind of is a lot of iPad games. This, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Dude, you installed the wrong aim lab? I feel like this is pretty good. Oh, speaking of iPad games, the, the Pine Tar Poker Dev uh, was really, really nice on Twitter. They were like, hey, you've mentioned Pine Tar Poker. Oh, shit. Um, seems like a really cool dude. Uh, I talked about it before uh, early on the stream, but a lot of you showed up uh, a little bit after I talked about it. Chill out streams are going to be a lot more frequent. I kind of miss them. I like just kind of hanging out. Doesn't have to be crazy every time. What about the speed runs? Hey, you're talking, I'm sorry, but you're talking to the uh, seventh place Bob the Builder PlayStation 1 speed runner? Just remember who you're talking to when you, you know, approach me. Do you play magic or anything? I'm excited for Grotto Beasts. Um, I'm not really. I wasn't really like a card game fan or anything. And it's interesting because the Grotto, Grotto Beast is sort of a... I mentioned it a little bit briefly, but it's, it's like a decade of stream references and like YouTube references and stuff. And originally, it was no game. It was just, oh, maybe it'd be fun to kind of do like, oh, you, you can open up and get like a holographic blue man or something. Like that, that was like an interesting concept to me. Um, like just like a physical card, just trading. Just for fun, just merch, right? Um, but then we got this game designer who is everything. He's just like, oh, what if I thought about this and this and this? It's like, holy shit, this is actually turning out to be like really, really cool. Hopefully a lot of you guys like it. If you don't buy, you know, it's a no pressure, right? But it's definitely one of those projects that it, it's been kind of a long time coming. I know people, you know, hey, do I have to like know? Do I have to like play Magic the Gathering type games to, to care? And that's not necessarily the intention. It's just I've always thought of years and years and years ago. Um, it was like, what if, what if we did like cards or something, like get like a bunch of artists to do it and a bunch of cards and you can open them as packs. And it was like a kind of a fleeting thought years ago, and decided to sort of kind of capitalize on it and just do it. But yeah, there's a game component if you just want to get packs to do it. If you want to get the starter kit and just be able to have it. It was in my brain. It was merch. That was, oh no, where can we get some more t-shirts? Can we get some more of this, more of that? I'm just thinking, what about just like you know, a bunch of cards with a bunch of references and shit? I feel like it'd be fun. There are 200 cards. I think there's like over a hundred cards that have some type of stream reference, a stream character on them. Do you think Grotto Beast will be competitive? I I, I don't know. I mean, that that's, that's, that wasn't really the intention. It was just like some fun merch for people to collect if they wanted to. And the way it stands up right now is we have um, there's a starter kit that'll have two decks in it with like some dice and some other cool stuff. And when that, when that actually gets time to kind of talk about it, I'll go into way more detail. But each booster pack is going to have one guaranteed rare and one guaranteed hollow. So you'll be able to kind of, if you want, it's just, oh, cool. There's like a hollow and a rare in every single pack. Years ago, there was this, like I, I mentioned earlier, of like, imagine if there was like a holographic blue man that you could get in a card pack. That was like interesting to me. It was like funny to me in a way. Like, wow, that's cool. What's the prices? How much would the cards be? We're trying to make it so, cause it's it's tricky because I really don't want to charge some crazy amount of money for this stuff. But because it's a, it's a limited amount of cards and we have to essentially kind of commission out the manufacturing. We're trying to make it affordable, but also, I mean, I don't want to just kind of blow up my bank account. Is it going to be under a hundred? Yes. For this, you're talking about for the starter kit? Starter kit has, um, I believe, I don't, and I don't want to give any wrong information, but the starter kit is going to have two full decks in it. I think a couple of booster packs in the starter kit, some a placemat, some dice, custom dice, and it's, it, 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 I, it will be under a hundred dollars. I can promise you that. Well, well under a hundred dollars, not like ninety nine ninety nine. <laughs> that would be so... Oh yeah, guys, it's gonna be it's gonna be well under a hundred bucks for the starter kit. Yeah, like ninety seven ninety eight. Of course, like ninety ninety nine ninety eight. Will it be possible to collect all the cards with it being limited? See that? I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. We, we still were talking about like 
what happens after? How do we handle something like that? Because at the very, very end of the day, it was sort of just a, it was sort of a project that was based around, hey, what do you get in this pack? Oh, whoa, cool. What did you get in yours? Kind of thing. <laughs> it was even, all right, like, don't tell anybody this because it's a secret. Uh, I thought about putting in like golden tickets and like there's something like, what the fuck is this? Put like a hundred golden tickets in packs or something. I'm going to lose. Okay, hold on. All right, I thought about like, oh, what if like there's just, I don't know, me giving like, like the middle finger in a Polaroid, like wrapped in a golden foil or something in them. But I was like, oh, we kind of, we probably can't. Remember, my child bought a pack. Yeah, I, that's, that's what I mean. I want it to be very just kind of general audience. Like it doesn't matter. <laughs> I kind of want like some little kid. Oh, Grotto Beast, what's this? And they open it, it's just me with like a cigarette in my mouth, giving like two fingers. <laughs> no, that's not a good idea. That would be bad. Have you thought about Kickstarter to do anything more like this? I've thought about it, but I don't want to do it. I would rather need to be sort of... I would rather need to answer to myself than have to answer to a bunch of people whose money I took. I don't... I'm, I don't know if I'm completely comfortable doing that. And there's not... I don't have anything... There's nothing wrong, I don't think, with something like a Kickstarter. But just personally, I would rather be the one responsible for it. Because who knows, right? And look, I am not... I'm not certain how well or how poorly this project's gonna do. I don't know. I would rather just be able to exist and be like a fun thing that people think maybe for a little while is cool and maybe, maybe not. Maybe people really like it. But I would rather be beholden to myself with that and not be like, yeah, hey everybody, I want to do this project called Grotto Beast. Please give me hundreds of thousands of fucking dollars and yeah, let me, uh, cool. And then it, like it comes out and what if it's not, what if you don't like it? I would rather it be something that I did than something that you had to pay for. I'll tell you a little bit of lore though. There are a couple of cards that are referencing a stream that never happened. A stream was going to happen that ended up not happening. And there are Grotto Beast references to this stream and it never happened. So people are gonna be like, what does this even mean? Why is this a card? Because I thought it was going to happen before Grotto Beast came out. Will it happen in the future? No. That's the that's the interesting thing. No. Was it Mr. Green's Casino? Yes. Yes, it was. Um, I guess what it's it, the stream's not happening anymore. So why don't we just talk about it? Uh, I was gonna do a stream, kind of late last year, where I got in as I'm talking like. Jim Carrey Grinch level prosthetics and painted myself green and ran a casino and invited a bunch of streamers to it. It was gonna be fucked up too. It was gonna be fucking wild. And there was gonna be all kinds of fucked up games. Like, oh, there's Blackjack, but what the hell is that over there? Was it because of the gambling ban? Um, it had some to do with it, but I think just logistically it was gonna be hard to do at the end of that year. And there was a lot of other stuff that I wanted to do at the end of the year, but it had a little bit to do with it, I think. Yeah, I was gonna walk around. There was gonna be like four assistants behind me, you know, doing those kind of routines. Why won't it happen? Because it's a very expensive show. And I learned that too through the process of trying to figure out how to do it. That's a that's a show that's um, very expensive. We will pay for it. Kick no, no, no. No, we're not doing Kickstarters. Kickstart, kickstart me to open up my own casino. If you came across that on Kickstarter, I'm pretty sure you would immediately click the X in the top right corner. Are you excited for Pikmin 4? Nobody tell them. Do you guys remember the Pikmin streams? I, I got so irrationally angry at that game. I don't even know why. It's, it's just kind of, I mean, it's not, it's not a relaxing game. You're against the clock. I complained about the Wiimote, and this is not an exaggeration, probably, probably 30 times over the course of what, two, five to six hour streams? If you break it down, it's like I complained about the Wiimote once every probably 12 minutes. And we're not talking about very, no, the Wiimote stinks. No, it was like, like, fuck this whole system. Like I hated it for a while, right? Like I was embarrassingly angry at that game. No coffee past three. I would tell you that, but that's, that's a lie. There's tons of times you've seen me stream past five, six, seven o'clock where I've had coffee or something. A nice, like, oh, a nice cappuccino is nice, though. I'll order a cappuccino at a restaurant just to kind of make people think, uh, like, oh, yeah, of course. Oh. Any, any desserts or coffee or anything? Of course. I'll take a cappuccino. Oh, okay. That's what you're ordering. Yeah. And then when I get it, 
I hold it up and I take a little sip and I go, mm, oh, perfect. I don't, I don't actually do that. Is it two hands or one on the coffee? I'm, 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 I'm imagining both hands holding it from the bottom and slowly dipping it up and, mm, and my, and like blink, 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 eyes going up, blink, blink, blink. Oh, it's so good. Why are you drinking coffee Looney Tunes style? That's a great comment. Remember, what's a nutmeg? I have no idea. I just know you grind it against uh, a, like a shaver thing and you put it on stuff. Is that is a nut of some kind? I don't have any idea what it is. You get, speaking of that, have you guys ever seen how weird chocolate is? I'm convinced that aliens fucking put chocolate on this planet. It's literally like alien eggs. Have you ever seen what it looks like? I like got like a cocoa pod. It's fucking insane looking. Here we go. <laughs> oh, uh oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Now that's right. We're gonna relax. There's no reason to talk about aliens. And if they may or may not have landed here and dropped cocoa pods with like alien fucking fluid in them. Would you stream balloons? Or... Wait, what'd you say? Would you stream balloons TD6 for a year straight? I don't think I'd want to ever do anything for a year straight. Do balloons with click maps again? That was really fun. Yeah, the click map streams were, they were up there. Do you guys remember? That was such new cool shit on Twitch back like five years ago. I used, I overused the hell out of that. Click maps were just such, such a wild concept. I used them almost, I think I want to say once a week at one point. How did you move from Boston? I kind of wanted to change. I'd been in you know, New England almost my entire life. So at that point it was a lot of, I want to do, projects and this big stuff that I want to try to do and it just felt like being on the west coast was easier because wait LA is right there Vegas has a lot of cool stuff there's a lot of uh, resources and opportunity and stuff out here uh, for like the entertainment industry like you know what why not but I didn't really want to live in LA I didn't want to be like in California really if you got invited to something like comic-con as a guest would you go um I don't know maybe but if I'm really, really completely upfront with everybody here, probably not. I think it's, I, I went to a lot of conventions pretty early on in the YouTube arc, if you want to call it that. I went to PAX, East PAX, Prime E3. I went to all of them every single year. And I think I, as I got a little bit older and as I kind of went to a lot of them, it just started to become something that I, I didn't... Because what it used to happen was, and obviously that, that this is not like this anymore, but... It would be it kind of takes a lot of time like you kind of dedicating a, a week to go travel and yeah uh, what are you gonna do or is you gonna are you gonna stream anything during that time i don't really do irl content really at all so it's not like oh i'm gonna go to like pax east and stream i'm actually much more comfortable just kind of in my own space if that makes sense it's funny because i i'm i'm an incredible extrovert very selectively. It's kind of weird how that works out. Please do your M Mitch McConnell impression. <laughs> you know what's making me laugh about that? It's like, dude, it's it's like, what time is it where you are? It is 11.15 p.m. here. I wonder what time it is. Are you, are you tired? You want me to do Mitch McConnell right now? Isn't it kind of late? It's like too late for that. It's late. Why are you at 11.15 p.m. Give us a Mitch McConnell. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I'm not gonna do a Mitch McConnell. What I'm gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna have Plants vs. Zombies, and I'm gonna play it, and I'm playing it well. <laughs> <laughs> Worst impression. <laughs> Is it the, no, 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 the, 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 the stimulus. I don't want to hear anything about the stimulus. The stimulus. When was Mitch McConnell elected? Imagine, like, looking over in chat, and it's like, you know, like, Mitch McConnell, like, 96. Just goes like, fuck you. You're definitely zooted and naked. <laughs> What's that tweet? That fake ass tweet that somebody put up of uh, like I burnt my nuts with a blunt or something. That was a fake ass tweet, by the way. I didn't really, I didn't write that. I didn't, I didn't say this. That's not a real tweet. You should just tweet that now and pin it. You know, if, if you, if I, editing tweets, like if I could edit tweets from like years ago, part of me just wants me to go edit one from like six years ago and just make it that i'm tired but i don't want to miss the rest of the stream what do i do well i have good news for you if you like this stream if you're having a good time you there's way there can be way more of these but don't worry 
you just catch the next one. You're just messing up my aesthetic and I hate you. Like, he, you know what I mean? I, that, that was perfect symmetry right there and he just messed it up. No, not, I wasn't saying that to that person. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you really messed it up my aesthetic right now. What kind of horseshit is that? Can you, is soup a drink? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Wait. I have to restart. The, I didn't see this guy. <laughs> soup a drink. This is the is a hot dog a sandwich shit, right? Okay, you know those um like when you get a ramen, or like the like the cup of noodle thing? Like that's like the cup and you put the water in it and eventually you eat all the noodles out of it where you're just kind of drinking it, you're just kind of sipping on it. I've had those of you that have had bone broth before, you just heat it up and you sip it. That's technically a soup, but it's you can sip on it. It's it's kind of a nice little thing. Yes, yeah, so you, you can drink a soup. Especially if it's just a broth. I think that I think that makes sense. This is also important. Are chips dinner? No. I'm gonna have to agree with your mother on this one. No, they're not. Wrong, wrong, wrong. What about nachos? See, nachos are not just chips. It's more than that. Nachos have sometimes cheese, salsa, sour cream, meat. It's not just a tortilla chip for dinner. It covers at least a few food groups. For me, dinner, lunch, dinner, whatever, needs to cover at least two food groups for it to be like a, a meal. It has to be at least two food groups. So if you had chips and like crumbled on top of the chips was hamburger meat, that's not a great meal, but it's still, that's, I would, that would, that would fly for me as sort of food. What about just a steak? No, I don't, I don't find that to be a meal. If you're just going to eat a steak and just nothing else on the plate, it's just a, a cooked steak and that's it. No, like, mushroom risotto. No, um... You know what I mean? No, nothing else. No, I don't think so. Aren't you the guy that eats mayo from the jar? I don't. I like mayo. I think it goes great with a lot of stuff, especially uh, with uh, tuna fish and pretzels. I wonder how many people actually think I'm a disgusting piece of shit. And then they go, you know what? Just for the meme, I'm gonna do it one day. Just for the meme, like, you, all of you guys are hanging out. There's like a thousand of There's like a hundred of you in, in, this, in this, like, I don't know, fucking dance hall, wherever you are. And you make a big vat of this, and it's like, wait, oh, yeah, remember when he said this? We're gonna do it for the meme, and it's gonna become your favorite snack. And you're not gonna, you're not gonna say shit, are you? You're not gonna say shit. You're gonna be like, ah, oh, it was delicious, but I, I, I can't say that. Make tuna fish with mayo, slop it, you know, slop it up a little bit, get it in the bowl, and then get pretzel rods, dip it in, dunk it like a dunkaroo, and bite it. And I want you to report back. I really want you to report back. Tuna. I already... There's a lot of people writing. <laughs> it's... Guys. Somebody said, why the fuck are you eating gruel? You don't... Is that what you think about tuna fish? You think tuna fish is gruel? Look, if you don't like tuna fish, then you're obviously gonna hate this. I grew up on tuna fish. I grew up on tuna fish sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I sounded, I sounded like I have a shit face. You, you, you kids don't know what it's like. I grew up on tuna fish sandwiches. And they were fucking delicious. And look how I turned out, you little shits. What's that? The same enemies in Sekiro. This is definitely pre recorded. You're definitely naked and watching the VOD right now. Like, with you guys? What you guys don't know is. Um, at the end of the stream, I forgot to like make- I forgot to make sure the stream turned off. Like I fell asleep here and the video just starts over again. The detective stream was a neat idea. You know, that's one of my favorite streams. That's one of my favorite things I've ever done. I don't know if there's a lot, a lot of people that don't know what we're talking about, but... Five years ago, I pre-recorded a whole stream. And the whole goal was I had a bunch of fake accounts that were me. And I was just typing in the chat watching the VOD with everybody on fake accounts. And every like 30 minutes or so, every 20 minutes, the video would stop and an alarm would sound and everybody had 10 seconds to guess who I was in the chat. I don't think we could do that again. I think there's too many people here now. <laughs> that was back, that was, what were there like a thousand viewers or something? I don't know if that, that would work very well now. I had a great name too. One of my favorite names, what was it? Binary man 0010110001. That's the worst joke of all time. I don't think so. I thought it was fun. 
But a pre-recorded webcam bit from Hotline Miami. Oh yeah. I don't even remember what that was. You kept talking while you were drinking. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because I, I, I recorded like 10 minutes straight of webcam footage and just looped it in the corner of the screen. What the hell am I? What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> Draw a dick with the pots. <laughs> if I just started doing that? No, I'm not going to do that. Hey, Dermot, can you crush a watermelon between your thighs? Uh, sorry. Sorry, do that. I don't think that's happening. Is he gonna get to this? <laughs> my teeth just came out. My fake teeth just came out of my mouth when I said that. Come on! Ah! Ah! I did. Cool. Well, that was fun. All right. Uh, I'm going to call it here. Thanks for hanging out.